obviously with all inclusive resorts that are already there. Um, I'm not, I actually don't know if you actually have any there right now, but, uh, uh, and then of course on your, your wholesale side, you're offering some products uh, that are going to keep it. Where do you see this heading? Yeah, well, unfortunately we cannot legally go and start managing hotels or use our brands on the hotel site yet. The, the embargo would have to be lifted or would have to have some special permits because unlike Marriott or Starwood, uh, consider like business hotels being in the city of Havana. We are specialized in resorts, that's pure leisure, and that's not legal yet. Right. Um, but on the distribution side, we've been working with Cuba already for more than a year. We sent about 7,500 passengers to Cuba. Uh, we have to do it under the legal, one of the 12 legal categories to send people to Cuba. In this case, uh, we use a people to people. You know, there's religious, there's, there's sports, there's uh, scientific, arts, arts etc. In this case, we use a people to people. And it has a little bit of a restriction on what the tourists can do or cannot do once they're there. And as a result of that, of course, the number has quadrupled in the last 18 months, but it's still very, very shy compared to the potential. It's only 7,500 when we sell almost a million to Cancun. So, yeah. I mean, I think the potential is huge. Uh, I agree, Cuba is a wonderful country, wonderful people. Uh, Havana is a beautiful, beautiful city. Mm. And, uh, and they deserve better. Most importantly, the Cubans deserve better. Uh, one, one of the things that I keep hearing is, go to Cuba now before they get spoiled. Everybody wants to see the Cuba yeah. that it's been frozen in time. That's not fair. Cubans deserve better. I mean, who are we to say Cubans should stay for us to look the way they have the old cars? It's not their choice. That's right. Mm. So, so when, when, when we talk about Cuba, yes, it is wonderful. It has a wonderful feeling to go and see how they have to innovate uh, because of the lack of resources that they have. It's amazing. It's charming. You take a picture of it. <laughs> but it's not fun. It's not fun for them. So the Cubans deserve better. So yes, they need to preserve that sense of place, the uniqueness of Cuba. They have, a very, they have the music. They have the food. They have their arts. It's a wonderful, wonderful place. But they, they're not for us to look in a cage like we're looking some, you know, yeah. a, a, a dinosaur, uh, you know, in a zoo. Uh, they deserve better, and yes, they will evolve. They're already evolving. By the way, the, the, the academic level of the Cubans is, is the highest in Latin America. Mm. They're very smart people, very well-trained people, and they have a great attitude. So they deserve better. They will change. They will evolve. They're already evolving but I really hope they lift the embargo. The Cubans deserve better. Yeah. It, it is certainly not working, and we'll be there the next day in the hotel site for sure. sure. We're already there in distribution, and we're gonna do everything we can to help the Cuban people.